Bet you've never seen anything like this. Looks like an old beat-up keyboard. A pile of junk. Hugh? Who? Hugh. Hugh who? Or who Hugh? Fezzy. Uh, tell the kid here about the sack butt. Did you build this? Hmm? Yes, yes, I did. When I was six, I was supposed to play the piano while my sister Jean sang Sweet Peggy O'Neill. As soon as I struck the first chord, I realized to my horror that the piano was tuned a whole tone high. That's when it was discovered that I had perfect pitch. Yeah, but what about the sack butt? In my twenties, I lost my perfect pitch. Just as well. In those days, it was believed there was a correlation between having perfect pitch and being insane. The sack butt? The sack butt? It's sort of funny, you know. I studied to become a classical musician, but I could never master a delicate touch on the piano. I had to give it up. Much later, much later, when I was working at the National Research Council in Ottawa, I built the sack button. Finally! They say it was the world's first voltage-controlled music synthesizer with a touch-sensitive keyboard. Look closely. The right hand controls the keyboard, playing one note at a time. You apply vertical pressure to affect volume and horizontal pressure to change the pitch. With your left hand, you can control the timbre of the sound. I wrote music for the sack butt, you know? Listen. What do you think, Fezzy? I'd put it up against that old violin of yours any day. What is it you kids say nowadays? Cool. <laughs> yeah.